When it comes to what's in millions of people's water, Emily Bedell is going to spell it out as plainly as possible. Poop in drinking water is a huge problem worldwide. Because it's at the core of her research in how we test for it in drinking water in the first place. I have been working on this for like six years now, during my PhD, banging my head against the lab bench for months on end. To understand the importance of this, we need a quick explainer. The EPA has regulations as to how much E. coli can be in our drinking water. The number is zero, so water treatment facilities test for it daily across the country. But about 40 million Americans rely on wells that aren't part of public infrastructure, and the EPA doesn't regulate those, so millions of Americans might not know what is in the water they're drinking. Yeah, so this is the sensor right here. This is the one that we've developed. It's why Emily, through a team of researchers, has developed a new way to test for E. coli. One that's much faster and much cheaper. People with wells would be able to have an app on their phone and see fecal contamination risk levels in their water, real time. Currently, testing is done using this method you're watching Emily demonstrate. It involves physically pulling a water sample from a source, filtering that water onto a Petri dish, and letting it sit in an incubator for 18 hours before manually counting the number of contaminants on the dish. So this is kind of how the sensor works. Emily's method takes out all of those steps and instead tests for the bacteria using UV light, which illuminates the particles before a sensor counts them. The old way takes 24 hours total and costs $21 per test. Emily's way takes 20 minutes and would cost around $1,000, which extrapolates to $2.74 per test. I might be biased, but I would say it's groundbreaking for sure. It will save lives, um, prevent people from getting sick, and help people really understand what's in their water. Emily admits the sensor is slightly less precise than the old way of counting particles, but she says it can account for levels of E. coli below when it begins to affect health, hoping more people will be able to track an issue that affects millions of Americans who rely on wells each day. In Boulder, Colorado, I'm Dan Grossman.